and I'm gonna move this to the front like I did yesterday, but somehow, like I was saying, I actually did the video, edited the video, well, somewhat edited. I ain't did a whole bunch of editing. I didn't do that. I ain't going front like I did. But I moved that to the front. I'm going to get it, y'all. I promise you, I'm going to get it. I be forget. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to get here and talk to you. I'm going to get in I'm gonna get in the swing of things. And y'all, isn't it something? I used to tell Tyra that all the time. And I can't do it myself. That's how it is normally. You tell somebody else what to do and you forget to do it yourself. But I'm admitting it. Why, why, why not? Why, why, why not? Kick. Hey. Why, why, why not? Like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you have notifications um, of when I'm posting. Please share with others, bring everyone else into Why 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 Not channel. Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Why 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 Not. It's your girl Why Landria, and I am on my way to work. Happy, happy, happy. Friday. I am so happy to be up this morning. Thank goodness that I am up and I'm able to meet with all of you. And yes, I am driving because when I get into work, it's going to be all work, y'all. So, so I talk with y'all on my way to work. Um, um, how is everyone doing this morning? I am doing great. I am doing great. Like I said, it is Friday. And tomorrow, we got to get up early in the morning. So, thought I'd be able to sleep in, but I'm not able to sleep in. So, today, I'm going to be eating. I'm at a light, y'all, so I'm stop. Today, I'm going to be eating Sonic. So, here we go. I know y'all can't see this is backwards. So I'll turn it this way. Okay. And Lord, I want to thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. Help it to nourish my body. In these words, we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I actually got the toaster and didn't get a burger. Got me some tots. I love me some tots. I would rather have tots and french fries in there. No, I'm just McDonald's fries. I love me some McDonald's fries. And I got me a, a ham and cheese toaster. So what are y'all plans for the weekend? I was in Saturday being busy. I think that's going to be all day too. But afterwards... We probably just chill. No, no her. She gonna wanna go out. No her. I can't get her to sit still. She always wanna go somewhere. Y'all remember me telling y'all I was always a homebody. I'd be just as content to sit at home and watch TV. I don't have to go out. Yeah, you know, this morning I got the. The strawberry Sprite. I really don't like strawberries, but it is really good in here. But to eat fresh strawberries, I want to eat fresh strawberries. It's a little, a little loose. They get stuck in the straw. That's why it hurts yourself trying to drink. But today, me and Tara had a, top, a topic this morning because she's in Afro American history. And she was so excited to take this class. 
which I'm excited for her too because I loved it when I was in college because you learn so much that's not going to be taught in the school system my only fear is what is this car doing my only fear is the kids now and how we were we could take in the information retain the information process the information and then react now the kids react first then wait for the consequences later and from the discussions some of the discussions that she said she had it was kind of fearful to me because the information is being given to them which is kind of making some of them angry because they didn't know this now they're mad at either I won't say mad they disagree with what has happened and how certain parties got a hold on everything and we can't change it and I told her that's like life there are things in life that you have no control over things people situations you have no control over so you walk around here mad at a person situation and you're gonna stay mad because why the key to that is the point I made is you can't change it so you're gonna stay mad because it is what it is there's no way around it it is gonna be how it's gonna be so what does that mean with you you gonna say mad I said only thing I can suggest that you do is look listen process figure out a solution for you that can help you understand better adjust and cope I said cope or deal that's all you can do I mean you can go and be angry and form protests and all this that and the other but what is that going to do and that's something I don't want her to do I'm sorry I really don't want her to do that so that's the only fearful part of it for me is because I just want something to be taught but you have to give them but, and, and it could have been given to them but she didn't tell me so, which made me ponder from the time I pick her up from school until all the way to this morning. Because it really sat on me kind of hard. She told me some of the things that were said, but she did not tell me any solutions that were given when the information was given. And I told her this morning, I said, well, you know, nowadays, you have to give a solution when you're trying to share information. Yeah, you could tell them what happened, tell them your opinion on it, tell them what you would do about it, tell them other ways to go about it. You know, let them form their own opinion. Don't just give it to them raw and then expect them to come up with a solution. As much as the generation now argue on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, what you think they're going to do with something that they're just not getting? If you give it to them raw, how it happened, and what you think, and not tell them what you think or how to solve or give a solution to to work around it or work through it or work with it, to me, in my opinion, that's a recipe for disaster with the generation now because they they don't mind doing what they, doing what they think at that moment. And deal with the consequences later. To me, in my opinion, that's kind of rough. That's just me talking now. That is how I feel. Just me. Can't speak for nobody else. That's just me. So I was telling her, I said, please go in there and enjoy the information. Retain the information. Process the information. And, the, and then she was saying that they were told that this is their class and nothing goes outside the walls. I said, that ain't true. I'm sorry. 
How many of us, you know, can sit and be quiet and not tell nobody what nobody say? I'm sorry. There might be some that can do it. It ain't that many. And I said it ain't that many. Yes, I went there. There's not that many that can do that. They have to share it. I said, just like you came and told me, I'm sure some of the other kids went and told their parents. And their parents, little flagged. If you were a good parent and responsible parent, you probably got a little red flag too. Because you're like, hmm. Now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tell I'm gonna have to ask every day what happened in class, what a teacher say, what a student say. So my thing is I try and get her to observe everything. Observe your surroundings, observe the people, observe their reactions, observe their body language. Do that so you can learn whether or not their passion is because they are their passion is because they feel that someone has been wrong and they don't like people to be hurt and they want to figure out a way to help that person to feel better or is it their passion is you hurt me I'm hurt you so you have to beware because everyone's energy is not going to be the same yeah, they may seem as if they disagree, but how are they disagreeing? You may disagree in a violent way. You may disagree in a way that make you want to write about it and, 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 and speak on it. Okay, that's understandable. But we don't want violence. So I said, I want you to not, I said, I want you to participate in class, but I want you to feel the room out. Take in what everyone's saying. Look at how they are presenting it. But that's just my opinion. I know y'all getting all kind of glad. These some good photo shots, eh? But, but y'all, they had me a little worried. So I just want to come on here and share. What y'all think about it? Am I wrong? Now, I know I want to do these little, what they call them, a helicopter parent? That watch over? And y'all, I always go back. How it was when we were growing up is totally opposite how it is today. Totally opposite. I would be not telling myself the truth if I was to sit here and say I'm not worried because uh, we ain't got to worry about it because this going to happen. Mm -mm. People are different. I told her there are a lot of mentally unstable people in the world today for you to just put something out there like that and I told her I said well maybe you just ain't told me that the man gave some type of solution or whatever and that's what made me form that opinion I said but hopefully he did because there are some mentally unstable people that you can't put information out there like that and leave it because then they're gonna perceive it how they want to perceive it. Why is this lying all the way back in there? That's straight. Hmm. Girl, they give you more egg than anything, Lord. They ain't gonna sell my egg. Look at my cheese. Oh, there you go. It looks dry. But y'all, yeah, that's my little rant for today. What y'all think? I would love to know. That's going to be real difficult to drink. But other than that, that was our conversation today. This morning. We'll see what it's going to be this afternoon. She's excited, y'all. She can fit it for her ROTC uniform. She said she's going to check to see what she can sign up for the volunteer. I said, that's fine with me. Oh, no. Is that an accident up here? I hope not. Lord, please let everybody be all right.
But other than that, I'm happy to see all of you this morning. And my apologies on yesterday. I actually did my video yesterday. I edited the put in there, what I'm about to say right now. Hold up, I'm sorry. It's an accident or something. Y'all, I got the hiccups. Why I got the hiccups? This is the strangest thing. What am I doing with the hiccups? I thought I was just burping earlier. <coughs> Y'all, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, y'all please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you have notifications um, of when I'm posting. Please share with others, bring everyone else into why, 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 why not channel. Give me some topics to talk about and I'm going to move this to the front like I did yesterday, but somehow, like I was saying, I actually... Did the video, edited the video. Well, somewhat edited. I ain't did a whole bunch of editing. I didn't do that. I ain't going front like I did. But I moved that to the front. I'm gonna get it, y'all. I promise you, I'm gonna get it. I be forget. I'm just so happy. So happy to get here and talk to you. I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get in the swing of things. And y'all, isn't it something? I used to tell Tyra that all the time, and I can't do it myself. That's how it is normally. You tell somebody else what to do, and you forget to do it yourself. But I'm admitting it. I don't know how I uploaded the wrong one. I had the one that I did, and I had the one that I uploaded. And I didn't. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna make sure I pay better attention. I used to get on her to make sure that her stuff is accurate. Y'all, I promise y'all, ain't putting that one salt nor pepper. On these eggs. If it wasn't for the cheese. I don't know if I got lipstick on my chin. No, there you go. They drive like they don't want to get to work. I'm early. That was fine. I could have got to the office and sat down in the office and did this. Since I'll be so early. But I said, I was hungry now. And we need to have our breakfast together. I'm not a breakfast person. But y'all, since I've gotten on YouTube, I've been doing better with my breakfast. Even though yesterday, oh, dog, she is mad at that far. Yesterday, I stopped at IGA to get my breakfast. And I said, hmm, let me go ahead and get my sausage and bread. So if I'm hungry in the office, I can just fix me a sandwich. I ended up fixing everybody breakfast in the office. And that's a good thing. All of us look out for each other. Y'all remember me telling y'all people on their speakerphone? Put it up their mouth. The girl behind me, she just fussing. On her speakerphone. Weaving in and out. With the phone up to her lip. Mm -mm. Well, y'all, I'm about to sign out of here. And I'm hoping all of you have a great Friday and a great weekend. I'm sure I'll be seeing you again before the weekend's out. 
Probably not my channel. Probably it's Tyra channel. We all know. We'll see. All right. Make sure you tune back in to Why, Why, Why Not. And why, why, why not would you not tell others to come in and join my channel? I'll see you all later.